What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbaz. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, go down below and hit it. You can set 3,800 subscribers. We're having a giveaway. In my last video, I showed you guys that I had a leak. I had a leak in the oil pan. I went ahead and I tied that up and that took care of that. Um, there is another leak somewhere on my brake lines. I wanted to go today and try to fix that, but unfortunately we can't because of the virus that's going around. I know I don't want to get sick, so I've been avoiding going anywhere. I've been just ordering stuff online. So we got some videos coming with some new stuff that, that's gonna be on the way. So today, what I plan on doing is putting the car back on the floor and we are gonna attempt to buff some of these panels out. Um, I don't have all my liquids here. They're still at the other place, but I do have two of them. We're gonna be using these right here. I do have a bunch of liquids. I mean, I got like at least like six or seven of these in like different grids and different like, uh, they do different things. But I only have two of them with me, like I said. So we're gonna attempt to use this one. And then afterwards, use this right here. And we are gonna be using this machine right here and hopefully we'll be able to get a good shine out of the Civic. Um, I did notice a little bit of rust back here, down here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to probably like uh, sand that down again and just touch it up with some rattle can. And there's a little bit of rust right here too on this lip, but it's not bad. I think I could just open up the trunk and sand all this down oh and for the trunk i'm gonna take it off and the reason for that is because we got to get it painted so that's gonna be a different video but i am gonna take it off right now so i'm gonna go ahead and get this car back on the floor and then we'll go ahead and remove that trunk All right, the trunk is off. And as you guys can see, there's a bunch of surface rust in here that I'm gonna have to hit with like a wire brush or something. And this is what I was talking about right here, that it's getting some rust. That I'm gonna also have to take care of, um, but it's not bad. This can all be cleaned up. Like I said, it's all surface rust. Nothing's gone through, it's very solid and i think we're ready i'm gonna go ahead and slap on the front bumper that way i could get more of an image of what it's starting to look like and we're gonna start buffing all right i really wanted to wet sand this all these panels but like i said i don't have a lot of my stuff here um so what we're going to start off with is going to be 
the Meguiar's mirror glaze. We're gonna put some of this stuff on there and try to buff it out. And then we'll go ahead and hit it with the ultimate compound. All right, so I'm gonna use this to wipe it down. Remember, I just washed this car a few days ago. But just to be on the safe side that there's nothing on here, just give it a quick wipe. And we are gonna apply our solution and get started. I got my machine right here. So let's see what kind of reflection we can get out of this. Let me show you guys it before. I'm gonna go ahead and lay some tape down. That way we can see if there's a difference. There is a little tiny scuff right here. I'm not sure what that's from. That might have just been from sitting where it was and something might have hit it. I don't know. But it's no big deal. So I put a little bit on here and now I'm going to start working it in there. This whole side right here and you could already see a difference you have to be very careful with this because of the fact that it could burn your paint you might go too deep and like I said burn through the paint but look right here you see that reflection so now we're gonna go ahead and hit it with this right here, the ultimate compound, and see if we can make it even glossier. I see it extremely glossy so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this tape look at the reflection that's crazy so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the rest of the car you can really see from right here this is where I haven't hit that way so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the whole car with this first I think I'm gonna do this one hit the whole car with that and then I'll come back and finish it off with that one
what a difference. I've been out here for about an hour. I got this whole panel done. I still haven't hit it with the ultimate compound from McGuire's, but I got this whole section done up to here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy and hit the pillar on the way up to right here. But as you guys can see, it looks almost like if the panel was wet again, it's looking really good. Okay, so the whole fender is done. You can see how crazy the reflection is already. So now what I'm gonna do, I got this whole section off completely. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with this one. But before I do that, I'm gonna swap out my pad that's on the machine and put a new one. so the whole sides are done all the way up to the fender and it's extremely glossy let me go on this side see if you guys could tell the difference or actually you could tell the difference from the bumper to the fender it almost looks like if it had like like a fog going over it. It's kind of dark in here. But you guys could pretty much see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much what I've been doing. Especially since it's been all screwed up where I can't even drive down the street without getting pulled over or something because of this virus. I think tomorrow I'll do the roof, the hood, and maybe the other side depending how the weather is. Because if it's going to be humid out, I don't want that humidity to get into the garage. So, yeah. Well, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Remember, I got some parts on the way. So as soon as we get those parts, we're going to definitely be installing them into the Civic. So with that being said, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.